As rockets continue to evolve and become more advanced, it's crucial that the systems supporting them keep up. The SpaceX Starship stands out with its exceptional design and will set a new standard as the most powerful booster ever created. However, this level of power brings unique challenges, such as controlling the intense heat, sound waves, and vibrations generated during launch. The split second of liftoff is a crucial moment for any spacecraft, especially for the Starship with the massive energy output from all 33 Raptors operating at full power. Ensuring the safety of the Starship and the launching pad is essential to a successful mission. The SpaceX Starship is a technological marvel, capable of reaching heights and speeds previously thought impossible. With its ability to produce nearly 16.7 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, it has easily surpassed the previous record holder, the Soviet N-1 rocket, by a significant margin of nearly 60%. This level of power, however, comes with its own set of challenges. The intense heat generated during launch, as well as the acoustic energy produced, which is nearly doubled that experience during an Artemis 1 launch, make it imperative that the safety of the crew and equipment be a top priority. SpaceX, under the leadership of Elon Musk, has risen to this challenge by implementing a water deluge system. This system uses a shower of water to control and absorb the energy generated during launch, providing an extra layer of protection for both the crew and the equipment. The water deluge system is just one example of the innovative and forward-thinking approach that sets SpaceX apart from other spaceflight companies. With a history of successful launches, the company has earned a reputation as a reliable provider of low-cost and efficient space missions. The Starship is also the culmination of years of research and development. It represents the company's vision for the future of space travel and exploration. The Starship is not only the largest rocket in history, but also the most powerful, capable of delivering payloads to any destination in the solar system. Its impressive payload capacity of up to 250 tons sets it apart from any other rocket in existence. This capability enables the delivery of the massive amounts of materials required to build infrastructure on the Moon and Mars, paving the way for human colonization. However, designing and building such a revolutionary spacecraft is no easy feat, requiring immense technological and engineering prowess. And, as difficult as the process of building the Starship is, the actual act of launching it is an even greater challenge that requires unparalleled expertise and precision. Another big challenge SpaceX faces during rocket launches is the acoustic energy generated, which can cause sound pressure waves to hit and damage both the launch pad and the rocket. To tackle this problem, instead of placing the vehicle directly on the launch pad, they have suspended it over the edge of a man-made crater. This not only protects the vehicle, but also the launch pad from any potential damage. SpaceX also made changes to their launch site by replacing the concrete with the mix to withstand high temperatures. However, no one is sure if this new material will be able to withstand the full force of the Starship. As of now, the company's environmental permit only allows for a limited number of orbital launches per year, which means that any lengthy post-launch repairs will have minimal impact. Whether or not the company will be able to overcome these challenges in the future remains to be seen. Recently, SpaceX has taken another major step towards its goal of colonizing Mars. The company has relocated its hardware from Florida to its Starbase Texas facility and launch site. This move was captured by NASA's space flight webcam and included a massive amount of equipment. Four mid-sized storage tanks, two or three large storage tanks, five high-pressure gas tanks, multiple sections of launch day loose system, and an unfinished Starship booster transport stand were all transported to Starbase Texas. The sheer volume of hardware and its privileged presence on NASA Kennedy Space Center property have all but confirmed that Starbase Texas is the final destination of this equipment. This movement of hardware suggests that everything visible is being redirected towards Starbase. The reason for this is likely due to the recent advancements in the construction of a Starship launch site at Kennedy Space Center and the installation of mid-sized pressure gas tanks. The four smaller tanks being shipped to Starbase may have been relocated due to the increased focus on building a new Starship pad. It's possible that the tanks are considered more useful at Starbase than their previous location, 
This could be because of the changing requirements and priorities of SpaceX's operations, or because Starbase offers better facilities for storing and utilizing the tanks. SpaceX's transportation of hardware, including tanks, to its Starbase facility is likely part of its ongoing efforts to advance its space exploration capabilities and support the development of its Starship program. During a launch, most rockets use deluge systems that spray a large volume of water into the area below the engines during liftoff. The water helps to absorb and dissipate the intense acoustic energy produced, reducing the potential for damage. By boiling and vaporizing the water, the deluge system also protects the launch pad from the harmful effects of the rocket's exhaust. The intense heat generated by the engines can cause serious damage to the concrete or steel structures if left unchecked. However, by allowing the exhaust energy to boil and vaporize the water, the launch pad is protected from damage and can continue to be used for future launches. Elon Musk has an ambitious goal of creating an orbital launch site that doesn't require a flame diverter for its powerful Starship rocket. However, despite its immense thrust capability, Starship has repeatedly proved to be a challenging feat to achieve this goal. The intense heat from six engines has melted the concrete, spreading molten debris over thousands of feet and even starting brush fires in a nearby nature reserve. These incidents have resulted in SpaceX having to go through the process of removing and replacing the concrete beneath the test stand after each static fire test. In conclusion, SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space exploration with its powerful Starship rocket. Despite its challenges, the company remains optimistic about its potential and has recently some major upgrades. Only time will tell if these upgrades will hold up to the direct impact from the most powerful rocket in history. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates on the exciting world of space exploration.